The Samsung Odyssey G7 is a high-performance gaming monitor that requires proper configuration to unlock its full potential. Let's go through the essential settings you need to optimize. First, maximize your refresh rate to the monitor's highest capability. The Odyssey G7 supports up to 240 Hz, which provides incredibly smooth motion and reduces input lag for competitive gaming. For response time, the faster setting provides the best balance between eliminating ghosting and avoiding inverse ghosting. However, disable this setting if you're using adaptive sync and experiencing flickering or other issues. Enable adaptive sync, whether FreeSync or G-Sync, to eliminate screen tearing. Make sure your monitor is certified as G-Sync compatible to avoid flickering issues during gameplay. The black equalizer setting brightens dark areas without affecting the overall brightness. Set it between 7 and 12 for optimal visibility in shadows, which is especially crucial for competitive gaming where enemies might hide in dark corners. Finally, adjust brightness to match your room's lighting conditions. This prevents eye strain during long gaming sessions while maintaining color accuracy. In dark rooms, use lower brightness. In bright rooms, increase it accordingly. Remember, these settings are starting points. Every user's preferences and gaming environment are different, so feel free to fine tune these recommendations to match your specific needs and visual preferences. Let's dive into the advanced color and HDR settings for your Samsung Odyssey G7. Understanding the difference between SDR and HDR color configurations is crucial for optimal visual quality. For SDR content, the Odyssey G7 defaults to 50-50-50 RGB color balance. This provides accurate colors for standard dynamic range content like most desktop applications and non-HDR games. However, for HDR content, you can significantly enhance color saturation and brightness by setting RGB values to 100 each. This maximizes the color output though the G7's HDR performance has some limitations due to its edge-lit backlight. Now let's examine sharpness and gamma adjustments, which are critical for text clarity and overall image quality. Sharpness settings directly impact text clarity and edge definition. The optimal range is typically between 50 and 70%. Too low results in blurry text, while too high causes pixelation and artifacts around characters. For gamma settings, it's recommended to leave them at, at the default value unless you have specific calibration requirements. The default gamma curve is optimized for most viewing conditions and content types. Local dimming is another important feature that can significantly impact your viewing experience, especially in dark scenes. Local dimming can improve black levels and contrast in dark scenes by selectively dimming parts of the backlight. However, it may cause blooming effects around bright objects on dark backgrounds. For the most accurate colors, professional calibration with a colorimeter is ideal. This device measures your monitor's actual color output and creates a custom profile for optimal accuracy. Finally, remember that many games have their own graphics settings that can override or complement your monitor settings. Game-specific adjustments can significantly enhance your visual experience. Many modern games like Assassin's Creed Odyssey have built-in HDR and brightness controls that work alongside your monitor settings. Remember, optimal settings are highly subjective and depend on your viewing environment, personal preferences, and the specific content you're viewing. Don't hesitate to experiment and adjust settings based on your individual needs.